Oh, pick something. That was the other one I was going to say. Four out of five. Cool. Good morning. Today we're off to a small local Comic Con event somewhere in Glasgow, I don't know. And I'm going to cosplay as Snow White. I'm going to get changed when I get to the small venue. Right now I'm just going to cosplay as Jim Stitch. Mahana. And just take a lot of my gear with me because I'm just going to see if I can try and interview some cosplay saying, What has been your favourite con of the year? Well, mine's. I'll tell you that at the end. This is sadly very true. I look at the trap, Ray! Okay, I'm outside the con on my phone, and the weirdest thing has just happened. The fire alarm's gone off. Very weird. Never happened before a con. And we're outside the con, waiting for the fire alarm to go off. Come on! <laughs> so, what made you be so away today? I am a squeaky place. She has a squeaky voice. You enjoy being Snow White in this case. Very much. Great. So if you don't mind, can you please turn to the judges? And finally one to the crowds. Woo! Thank you so much. And next. I'll get you some Facebook trouble. She hit him. Did anybody read in the Daily Record this week about that 18 foot Furby's wife? Yeah? Have you read about that? So it's just going to the end of the con, guys. I've made some slime, been around the Snow White, I look there at Eris Tinkerbell, and just have fun with the Ghostbusters. It's been fun, raising money for charity, better than being at home. I mean, I made slime today. That was so good. This is my first time making slime. <laughs> And then I'm going to go home and just watch some Netflix, I guess. Oh, make some badges. You should see my badges, they're so cool. And I'm just going around cosplayers to ask him what has been their favourite con of the year? Robert. Richard. Richard. I always get that confused. I'm so sorry, guys. Sorry, Stuart. Favourite um, con of the year? Favourite con of the year would be... I'm going to go with MCM because it was the first time we ever had uh, Ghostbusters in Glasgow, they had a table at MCM and then we got upgraded to one of the booths on the Sunday and it was great because it was Ghostbusters. You raised a lot of money. So what has been your con of the year guys? I'm proud to say East Cobain was the best one. Yeah, East Cobain was the best one in May. Uh, yeah, definitely the best one. Why? Because there was a lot of people, there was a constant flow of people uh, seeing all the stalls and stuff and also we made a bit more money than all the other cons. <laughs> what has been your favourite con of the year? My con of the year has to be MCM Scotland because I was one of the runner-ups for Maria. I took part as Maria up at the MCM Scotland like last, no, no last year, but the year before. I didn't think I would get anything for it again this year, but when they said that I was one of the runners-up, that put a smile on my face. That had to be one of the best moments in my life.
the Kamarnik train to Glasgow and I just so just sit it down for 10 minutes, clean up rubbish. Save the environment, seriously. That's me home. Oh wait, I've been home for more than three hours. I've been watching too many movies. I've been watching Dizzy's a Nutcracker. Terrible. Who made the sugar plum fairy evil? And the rat nice. Oh my gosh. I have also been watching Transylvania's Street, where they all go from a hotel to a cruise, and now I'm watching Ant-Man and the Wasp. While I've been watching the movies, I've been making badges that I need to show you. But first, I had to tell you the first thing I was going to tell you guys, let's start the vlog. What is my favourite con? Now I've been thinking about this for the whole day, because I had to ask people, like, just to bring back the memories in my head. And I've narrowed it down to what has been my favourite con of the year. My favourite con of the year has been... <laughs> Edinburgh Comic Con! Now, I know no one, said, no one said that, but because I like Edinburgh Comic Con, it's because I went on the train, met lovely people, Haley, two of people on the train, went straight all the way to Edinburgh Comic Con, never been before. I was cosplaying as Hannah Montana, and I can't be her at the moment because I need to get new trousers. And I met so many people, Shannon, Neil, I did a little Scottish YouTube meetup for the little game called the Cosby Challenge, so that went well. I uh, went around, vlogged that, so you can check that vlog out of Edinburgh Comic Con. Uh, I enjoyed it. It was the same venue that did uh, Comic Con Scotland back in 2018, which is where I won back in November. But Edinburgh Comic Con was back in April and I went alone. I'm glad I found someone to go with on the train. Um, yeah, it was really good. I enjoyed it. I can't remember what I got. Yeah, I have to look back in the vlog for that. Edinburgh Comic Con. So yeah, that was my favourite con of the year. I mean, it could have been Capital, but... I'm not the one who met Pete Capaldi. I just feel my boyfriend meeting Peter Capaldi. He signed his guitar and I think I went there for three days? Two days? I don't know, I had a great time there. So Edinburgh Comic Con's number one and Capital's number two. But will it be number one next year? That'll be a long year of 2020. Anyway, let me show you my badges before I outro you guys. Um, so I've been making badges. I like non-stop for a whole month making badges. We got cosplay, fandom, pride. I mean, look, there's a Barbie logo. It is pride. Made that myself. Uh, I'm going to take some of these to Capital because I need to give this one to Libo Cosplay. And I need to give this one to Sophie. And I need to give this one to Aiden. If it comes out well in the oven. And then I get my glue gun and pin it. This was the first one I made, Miraculous. I love the show Miraculous. I am catching up on YouTube. Shh. So I'm really having fun. I'm making badges. This is the start of it and I'm just enjoying it. I can't stop myself. Like, I'm not going to bother doing research on the laptop. I'm going to make badges. And again, and again, and again. And I'm enjoying it. I'm mean, selling, you never know. I'm taking a few to Capital, so if you want one, come and see me. Under four pounds. But anyway, I'm going to go and eat my dinner. It's past 10 o'clock, I need something to eat before I go to seeing friends tomorrow. And see if we've been planning this new store. Anyway guys, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe to me, Danger Debs. It's memories make us. So go out there and make some good memories, and not some bad memories. Stay cost positive. Bye!